Hey, how's it going? I want to share with you everything I know about building habits, specifically the habit of learning to program, because I think it needs to be a daily habit if we're really going to grasp and master this and really enjoy it. It's no good doing an hour every five days. We want to make it daily. I've been reading this book, Superhuman by Habit, and I've been applying the principles in this book to various other areas of my life and I'm experiencing results and now I'm ready to apply this to programming. So I'm going to tell you what I'm setting out to do. I invite you to set yourself out a target, um, not even a target, just take in the information, play around with it. This is no big, heavy, serious thing and you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. It's no big heavy deal. You do one push-up, what do I mean? I remember hearing this guy talking about one push-up, just do one push-up. Everyone can do one push-up a day. So rather than saying I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to do an hour four times a week, rather than saying that, because some people say that and they can't execute, but everybody can execute on one push-up. And what happens? You do the push-ups and you think, well, I'm here now, I may as well do a few more push-ups. And you do it daily and you build your confidence. Consistency over intensity. That's one of the main things that I've got from this book by Tynan, the author of Superhuman by Habit. Focus on consistency rather than intensity, rather than setting yourself this this huge target, or not even huge, but a big target. Make it small. Stick with that. Evaluate yourself on how consistent you are, not on the results that you're getting, okay? Just the consistency. That is your that, that's your affirmation now. Consistency, consistency, consistency. And I've applied this to going to the gym because you can get disheartened when you're going to the gym and you don't feel like you're making gains. And if you evaluate yourself, if you evaluate yourself on the results, it's easy to pack it in. It's easy to think you get that sense of oh, it's not working, and then. You, may, you might be tired one day and you think, oh, I'll leave the gym for today. And that's the other thing. And that's the reason why I want to encourage you to make it a daily habit. Because when you make it a daily habit, don't miss a day. If you miss one day, then it's more likely that you'll miss two days. And if you miss two days, you may as well start from scratch again in terms of the habit itself. So... Don't miss a day. And if you do miss a day, don't miss two. I want to share with you a couple of quotes that I've taken from the book. The glorious benefit of a habit is that it converts something that requires a lot of willpower and focus into something that becomes automatic. And often outside of conscious thought. So the beauty of this is we're going to program daily and because it becomes a habit it's automatic and because it's automatic then we can add something else onto it and this is the beautiful thing about this because let's say you set the let's say you set yourself a target you're going to do programming for half an hour every day and maybe that half an hour feels like it's a thing you know it's like oh right okay i gotta make sure i schedule around this and right uh i'm tired right now i would rather watch this sitcom but i've made this commitment i'm going to sit down and program and you know that's energy that you're using up we, we all have a certain amount of willpower 
So that takes energy, but you do it daily and it's no longer taking energy. It's just, oh right, yeah, okay, let's sit down, I'm gonna do some Swift for half an hour and you add things to it. Next quote. Habits can only be thought of rationally when looked at from the perspective of years or decades. The benefit of a habit isn't the magnitude of each individual action you take, but the cumulative impact it will have on your life in the long run. So think long term. If we commit to doing SWIFT for 25 minutes a day, let's just commit to that because where will we be a year, two years, five years from now if we hold that commitment? And that's where the real power of a habit is. Don't focus on the individual actions. I applied this to my videos. I wanted to be making videos, sharing in the journey of learning iOS, but it just wasn't happening. I had to be honest with myself. I had to look at my life and think, Mike, you're not doing it. <laughs> this isn't happening. And with that honest look at myself, I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna commit to this. I'm gonna do it every day in the morning. I'm not gonna do it Monday to Friday and chill out on the weekend because when you do that, you chill out on the weekend and then it's Monday, it's like, oh, I've gotta get back to this. No, every day, Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna do videos. And whether I like it or not, <laughs> like I don't get to miss doing the videos. I don't get to miss going to the gym. I've made this part of my self-image. Make this part of your self-image. You are an iOS developer. You're not just an iOS developer, you're a successful iOS developer. What do successful iOS developers do every day? What are they doing? Well, they're probably not watching sitcoms all day and making excuses as to why they shouldn't do some programming. They're probably not doing that. They're probably doing the programming. They're probably sitting down and doing it. And that's what you're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one push up, meaning we're gonna make it, we're gonna start small, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna make that decision, take an honest look at ourselves and make a change. So what am I setting out to do? Well, I'm gonna do 25 minutes. It's a Pomodoro. Pomodoro is this technique where you do 25 minute blocks and you do four of them. You do 25 minutes, take a break for five minutes. Then you do that again. You do it four times over and you take a long two hour break. But I don't really stick to that, I have done. But look, I'm gonna set out to do 25 minutes. I'm gonna be doing either this, uh, Swift, Big Nerd, Nerd Ranch book. I really love this book. I'm gonna do 25 minutes on this or I'll do 25 minutes on Team Treehouse. They've been bringing out a lot of good Swift 2 courses or I'm gonna be working on building the app. So that's what I'm setting out to do. Decide upon what you're gonna set out to do. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna make this video again in regards to how I'm doing with this challenge six months from now. I'll most probably end up talking about it on my vlogs, but definitely I will make an update video on how this habit is going six months from now. Hope you got something from this video. Let's do it, let's do it daily. Let's make it a part of our self-image. We can't just have this notion of being a successful iOS developer. We need to demonstrate it in our action because knowing is synonymous with action. You don't really truly know something unless you can demonstrate it through your action. So we need to ground it through physical action. Okay, take it from an inspiration, from a notion ground it in your physical action and things will begin to change. 
things will begin to change. Take it easy. Peace.